communication is not only in our work life, but also in our private life, really almost the essence activity of what we do. We live in an era where it goes extremely fast. And if you think just 20 years back, uh, Facebook was almost a non-existing actor and other types of social media were not even entering the scene yet. Uh, we had much less choice in terms of television. And now we live in a situation where you can really choose to be informed about very specific issues all the time or not be informed about some issues at all. So the choice has gone up dramatically in the past couple of decades. The influence of social media is actually a question where we're in the middle of trying to discover how that works. Who is it that chooses to use them? What kind of messages do they get in these networks? And the interesting thing about social media right now is that on the one hand you choose yourself a lot of things that you want to receive, but a lot of things are also chosen for you, algorithms and the, say, the secret machinery of these new platforms. That is something we know very little about and our research is very much geared and trying to understand what kind of media and information diets do people get voluntarily but also because of the choices that are taken for them. We do experiments in which we have different types of stories and different types of information being shown to different groups of people. We use surveys in which we ask uh, representative samples in the Netherlands about their knowledge and about their attitudes towards some of these developments, and also about their opinions uh, towards current affairs. But we also try to really think out of the box and come up with completely new research methods. In a way, we cannot only work with what we have always done in the past. So we also, in a project together with information law, have developed a plan in that a lot of respondents install and then we can actually see what they see online. That's the only way to really figure out how personalized and how tailored or how different your Facebook feed might be as compared to my Facebook feed or my NOS.nl. We have a, a study now which is run by people from political science and from communication science where they uh, try to use physiological measurements. So they measure whether people have uh, sweat, whether their heart starts to beat faster, whether or not that there's more brain activity taking place when they're exposed to different types of messages. They do that in very different places in order to get people uh, that are very different to partake in the research so that they can also say something about whether or not all types of individuals react in the same way or whether there are big individual differences. This topic is one of the most crucial topics, I think, for today's uh, society. Today's society is not for nothing called the communication society, the network society, the data society. So this is one of, I think, the big questions of our times. And we need this type of research to answer a lot of questions. Do we need to educate our children and pupils differently in high schools? Do we need to have more kind of public debates? Do we need to have a different set of regulations or maybe even laws uh, on some of these areas? Do we need to regulate a topic of for example, political micro-targeting in elections. These are all questions that are big for society today, but where we believe it is so important to do research first and then come up with policy recommendations rather than just having an empty discussion.